In this video, we will demonstrate how to submit an e-invoice from the SQL accounting system to the My Invoice portal in just one minute. Issue a sales invoice as usual. The classification will be automatically captured based on your settings and maintain stock item, but you can amend it in the sales invoice if needed. All mandated fields can be reviewed or changed under the More panel. Delivery, billing, and my invoice details will be auto-captured based on the settings configured in company profile and maintain customer. Once the invoice is created, let's proceed with the e-invoice submission. Click on the My Invoice button and select Submit e-invoice. The system will verify that all mandated fields are filled in correctly. According to LHDN guidelines, the e-invoice will be validated within 2 seconds. If there are errors, such as a blank tin, BRN, city, an error message will appear. You will need to correct these errors and repeat the submission process. After the two-second validation is complete, and the status shows it's valid, you can proceed to print the invoice. This will automatically generate the QR code. You can use the existing built-in format or contact your service agent to incorporate the QR code into your current invoice format. This validated the invoice, number 4-00026, amounting to RM1711, has already been synced to the My Invoice portal. Let's check the LHCM My Invoice portal now. Go to Documents, where you'll find Invoice 4 00026 listed. The received and issued times are automatically recorded. Click on the UUID to view the e-invoice details. All itemized details, including the classification code and part descriptions, are sent from SQL to the main invoice portal. Forget the tedious process of manually entering all the 55 fields on the main invoice portal. SQL handles everything behind the scenes, syncing with LHDM, performing validations, and completing the e-invoice submission. Not a SQL user yet? Visit SQL website to book a free demo today. With SQL, you'll not only ensure compliance with LHDM laws and regulations but also streamline your operational workflow. Start using SQL today.